Hi, Mom. You're the most important person. I can go ahead and start now that you're here. There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseen, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Yay! I don't know if that was the cutscene audio that was really loud, but I'm gonna knock the master volume down just one more. <clears throat> Maybe. Let's try knocking the music down a little bit. <clears throat> we can adjust it as we progress. What's up, Aka and Hasty? How are y'all? Do you really want to start a new game? Yes. family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon, and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. <laughs> this was Nicole Cage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. A mild 45. And I said 46. 46, whatever. Celsius, yeah. But, but the... having that being mild, that's insane. Hmm. 
Okay, you can zoom with the mouse. <clears throat> oh, grant. Okay. Orbital access. Ar oh my God! There's so much stuff. Auxiliary power units. Gaseous oxygen vent arm. Sound suppression. Holy crap! All right. Yeah. I'm Oops. I'm not gonna. Wait. It says R for read. Oh, gotcha. Man, all right. Jesus. That's funny. We're ready to start the mission. Do you copy? Uh, yes. I think. Control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Ooh. Confirm contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Enter the, f enter the launch facility. Equip okay, equip the astronaut suit is completed. That's easy enough. Crap. Okay. Let's get over there, shall we? <clears throat> Network dish. Oh, I keep wanting to hit e escape for exit. Want to explore a little? Well, I guess this is away from the thing. Okay. Nice. End to the Age of Wires. Who is Claire? Oh, Mommy's dead. Claire's probably the uh, stepmom then. Okay. And Teddy, ah. Claire took care of her sister, Kath. Oh, Claire is the older sister. Okay. Is 
Gotcha. Sputnik Monument. As there should be. Why is my helmet on so loose? I don't know. For the lulls, probably? Also, what's up, David? It feels weird not seeing N7 written on the suit. Awesome. <laughs> For the lulls is still something the kids say, right? I'm hip and with it. Get out, please. Oh, lol. Just kidding. Buttons are hard. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. Sweetly. <clears throat> Ooh, snacks. Oh, it's one of the crappy bars. Powers out, use 3548 for the door. Gonna take a bit of getting used to. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was. You know what's weird is I was looking at the pad on the screen and hitting the corresponding numbers on my pad, but the pad on the screen is in reverse from my from my number pad. Wow. Rip me. Oh. Windows. Hey, handy. I can turn that out for a minute. Okay. Maintenance saves lives. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Okay. I was never good at checkers. Life without the MPT a year after the blackout. They're still printing magazines? Oh, was there? Let's go check it out.
Missing Colonist Dossier, Isaac Johnson, Ph.D. Oh, it's my dad. Or it's Claire's dad. Hello, door. How are you doing, Dave? What did that say? Maria Gonzalez, director. Huygens Research Facility. Can you can I fill you in on what's happened so far? Um, the the planet is dying, and there's a, a lunar base that's supposed to be transmitting energy to us, and it stopped like five years ago, and nobody knows why. Maria's broken ace unit. Okay. Dear Sarah, we met years ago on at the on the Pearson Space Station. Mm -hmm. Hi Maria, yeah, I remember. Holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. Uh I should, so you should reach out to my colleague Rolf Robertson. <clears throat> Fluoz Fluozetine? Fluozetine? Oh, antidepressant. I did not even read that. Holy shit. How did I miss that? Hello? centers up here. Oop, a little bit of lag there. I think I'm going to turn off graph, uh, advanced. Actually, let's do that. You don't really see a big difference. Okay. What the hell is that? Was WSA a modern NASA? Well, it's World Space Agency. So, I mean, kind of? Beer pool. 
Oh, beer pong. Jordy, Daniel, Claire, and Maria. Jordy's one of the developers. <laughs> Yeah, look at the firework! Yay! Conference room and Claire's office. Isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, mm. multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Cambridge University instead of Cambridge, I guess. Claire's model that's a model rocket? That thing looks fucking awesome. Supreme Court of the UK. Hmm. Apparently her and her father were not on good terms because that was a letter from the Supreme Court saying the dad had custody of the daughter, not her, not the sister. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I gotta write this down. Crap, I didn't think it, I didn't think we'd be doing this. All right, hold on. I thought it would have like instructions in the cockpit or something. Nope. No, because it didn't have an option to keep it. No, after you put the suit on. Yeah, oh, you mean picked down. it up after the suit? That's that's probably a good idea. Too late. All right, let me draw this thing. This oh god, this thing is complicated. I mean, it's designed to launch a space shuttle, right? So. I say space shuttle, it's not necessarily a shuttle, but whatever. Can I take screenshots? I'm sure I can, I just... I don't know how that's going to help me in-game. That was way too many knobs on that one, but whatever. There's three knobs on this one. And then there's a lever here. And a small knob and a big knob. And then there's a switch here, a switch here. What looks like a button, maybe. And then a giant dome lever thing. Lady, I know where it is. 
All right, so this is number one. Number two. Number two is this one. Number three is these. Number, number four is that. Five is this. Six is this group here. That's number six. Seven is this guy. Eight is also this guy. Nine is this. And this is number ten. Okay. Now it says launch sequence. Oh, good lord. One, two A, two B, three, three A. Sorry. So we're going to go one, two A, two B, three, four A, four B. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully that's in the right order. Number, t number, like number eight says something main engine shut off. Start, start main engine. So seven, eight. That's okay. Okay. Can I save? No, there's no saving. I guess it's based on an autosave system. Humorum, Cognitum, Crisium, Cognitive, Crisis, Humor, I, I, I highly doubt that's what it is, Imbrium, Agnius, Nubium, Oratal, can you die or screw up even? Man, I don't know, I haven't played this game before. <laughs> Initiate power reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Close both hydrogen fuel valves. Oh, close the fuel valves, then turn the key. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, manually. Ah, here we go, here we go. Am I Fortuna? Maybe, maybe that's who I am. 
I don't know if she's talking to another person at this site or oh. Well, shit. Um. Can I throw a rock? Actually, you know what? I should probably be able to go down. Project Fortuna? Well, I don't think it's... I mean, it may be the name of the project, but there was also somebody named Fortuna that was talking... Whoa. That was talking a second ago. Interesting jump. Got moon gravity on Earth. Cables and shit blowing around out there. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, 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 oh. Snap. Look at me being all smart. Do that. Where's that girl I'm talking to located? On Earth somewhere. No idea, physically. A1, A3, B3, 4. Auxiliary power units booting up. Gaseous oxygen vent arm rent arm safely in place. Sound suppression system engaged.
Nice. Ooh. The view must have been breathtaking when the first astronauts made their way to the moon just a hundred years ago. They knew an Earth full of life. All we know today is dust. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. That's a cool intro. Oh, snap. Full speed ahead? No way, dude! Do you know how slow these things connect? Like, stupid slow. MPT offline. Station power very low. Life support offline. You must have reached the Pearson Space Station by now. The storm has severely damaged our instruments, so we can't read your location or receive any messages. But we can detect fluctuations in the MPT network. If you can hear this, when you reach the control center, try to find out what's wrong with the 
NPC connection so you can bring it back online. Good luck and luck. Oh, this is trippy. Okay, there we go. That's a little... The actual transmitter, okay. This is what they call the pergola, I think? On the ISS? Yo, what's up, Aztec? ship. So this is into the station. This is trippy, dude. I like it. I got three minutes of oxygen. Central hub. Energy. Bring life support back online. Okay. Understood. Another... Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Got some kind of module. What's in here? Nothing. Bonk. Like there's a receptacle here, perhaps? Okay. Ah, that's an oxygen canister. Cool! Okay. So I need two power modules. So there's gonna be less looking around and more just kind of like... ...burning through these areas to get the power back online. We'll look around once I'm not gonna die from lack of oxygen. Hello? There's that one. Anything else in there? That's the receptacle, yeah. Yeah, you picked up two already, didn't you? Those are oxygen canisters that I picked up, not not power modules. I thought you'd already picked up two modules. I did. One was used in the hallway for the door and one was used for one of those. Is there another one in here maybe? Nope. What? Oh, that is disorienting. Can I take it out of here, maybe? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it, I got it. There's only two. I gotta do this to keep the door open. Aha, now I can take this one out. Put it over here, got it. I can take this one out and put it over there. System reboot required.
Hey. Woo wee. All right. Access station power inside the control center in the Libra wing. Taxes, taxes, taxes. All right. Did anything open up over here now that that's back on or no? Also, what are these? Cocaine? Dude, I like this little floaty environment. It's really... Oh, hey, look at that. I didn't see that before. I like this neat little floaty environment they have. It's kind of cool. Internal mail. To Copernicus Moon Hub. ASE parts. Issued for space elevator drop. 788847. It's funny, you're like, I like this little thing, and it's giving me motion sickness. Is it? Yeah. Oh no. I guess this is for me watching a lot of sci fi. This kind of stuff doesn't upset my tummy anymore. Okay, I'm upside down. There we go. I bet that helps, huh? Oh, yeah. That root. Sealed from other side. Ready for descent. The MPT network is still down, so expect the lights to go out as you descend towards Copernicus. Thanks for the heads up, Pearson. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPT network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's find out how they've been holding up down there. Alex, commence descent protocol. All systems go. Elevator's offline. I just noticed earlier my batter my flashlight has batteries. Do you know if the lunar base did evacuate? No idea. Be funny if there was a glass there and I just went boink. Alright, what's over here? Libra. Yeah, Libra. You're right, you're right. It said something about needing to go to Libra. Sorry, did that hurt your tummy? <laughs> it's okay. Don't not do things on my expense. On my account.
They wouldn't have drinks in bottles like that. <laughs> Game ruined. The heck is that? A microscope? Doors closed. Here we go. Can I get through that? Ooh, just barely. Okay. There's Rolf's office. And Sarah's. Let's go into Rolf's first. Scannable nearby. Cryosleep machinery. After the cryosleep generator in the Hudgens facility malfunctioned in 2048, Maria searched for answers, led her to investigate the what remained of the machine. Unable to determine the exact cause of the malfunction, she set this fragment to Pearson Space Station mechanic Rolf for assessment. Okay. This is cool. The Earth is actually slowly rotating. It looks like South America there, just like Chile and Argentina, just down there, viewable in the light. It has to be really depressing that that's what Earth looks like now. It's this nasty brown ball of crap. One of the few survivors of the Hudgens Cross Leap malfunction. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Is there any way I can get my ace to project project holographic data from that day? I want to find out what really happened. I've inspected the generator fragment you sent over, but I can't find anything conclusive as for holographic data. It's unfortunately location-based. Holograms can only be projected where they occurred. If the Lunar Council ever clears access to Hudgen again, I think the best thing to do is bring your ace and check the holographic data that's there. What a terrible system. It records information, but it can only be projected where it was recorded. What if the place explodes? How are you going to see that? Touch up your paint up later, don't worry. Are you ready to go? We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just patching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. Besides, you wouldn't have made it to that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. <sighs> Did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the MPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Oh, Sarah, we need to get you guys down to the surface ASAP. We don't have much time. <sighs> okay, let's go. Councilmember Leverd. The MPT is still offline. What's going on? Backup power is finally up and running here at the station, and we're preparing the Pearson elevator to take us down to Copernicus Moon Hub to provide any assistance you may need to bring the MPT back online. We're coming. Please be safe. Electrical shock with risk, risk do... Not, not not as scratched out. Do not tamper with hardware or drivers. Ace behavior update 2.0 scratched in. Okay, so there's a behavior chip here. We may need to come back for that at a later date. Reminder. 
They have changed the code again at 2539. Use 2539 to access the control center. Convenient. Ace Remote Control Update, Ace Human Behavior Update, Robot Arm Software, Holographic Playback with the Astro Tool, Space Elevator Weekly Maintenance, and Ask Rolf to Answer Maria's Message. Dishes on Tuesday. Councilmember MacArthur. In the past few months, my team and I have encountered problems with construction material shipments. We're supposed to be finished with the Orion Wing by now, but again we missed our milestone due to shipments being repeatedly cancelled. When can we expect the Lunar Colony, Colony sorry, the Lunar Council to approve further shipments? The Lunar Council has decided to shift resource priority around because of new construction on the moon. For the time being, I recommend you make do with what you have. We all do down here. New construction. Is the Hudgens facility finally being repaired? It's about time that place opened up again. There's too much knowledge buried here since the cryosleep malfunction. Suffice it to say that while the construction project is classified, it does not concern Hudgens. Access to the Hudgens facility remains restricted until further notice. Well, they're being shady as fuck for trying to, like, restore power to Earth, right? <laughs> it's classified. I know you're here on the moon with us, but we're not going to tell you jack. Why oh, you got to be dicks, man? Dicks, man. It's pronounced Huygens. I think it's actually pronounced Throat Wobbler Mangrove. Space Tech Magazine. Voyagens. Hey, somebody that finally didn't write anything on their pad. Evacuation procedure. In case of emergency, please pay attention to the following guidelines. Travel to Moon Hub, full elevator lockdown. It's Dutch. Get Kane in here. He'll he'll square this away. Yes. He's Dutch, right? He's Denmark. Oh, three and four are missing. But one and two are still in there, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Did that work? I don't think it worked. Oxygen, choking, wear a helmet. MPT network offline, diagnose. Pearson's space station MPT transmitter and receiver offline. Connection to network not established. Diagnose MPT network in Moon Hub. Contact Moon Base. No connection with Moon Hub. 
Space elevator offline. Additional energy required. Rotate station for additional power. Station rotation engine offline. Okay. Well, at least that answers some of our questions. Oh, and that door opened. Reach Ares wing through the Orion ring. Okay. I thought that was a doorway. It's not. 